So first we make her sit. Ready. We ask her to sit. Sit. And then we play with her. Girl. You try to play keep away, but if the dog catches it, the dog gets it to enjoy it. Yay. So you could still run with it, you could do tug of war with it, or you could just stand still. She can't run away with this toy or destroy it because we're holding on to the other end of it. This really tires the dog out. So every single time we do this, we ask the dog to sit, to practice our obedience. It teaches them to listen to whoever has the toy. The toy becomes a reinforcement rather than just a toy. Good, keep going. Whee! It's relatively safe. Anybody can get hurt doing this, but it's relatively safe because you see the distance between the mouth and the hands. Good girl, Danielle, you're doing great. Dragging a leash is dangerous. It's another component to pay attention to, but she's on a leash, that's what I'm doing. Good girl. All right, a little tuggy and then just let her hold it for a second. All right, stand still, please. I'm supporting Danielle until the dog will listen to her by standing behind her. Sunny! Yes! Here you go. She drops it. I pay her. Danielle picks up the toy. One more time, please. Ask her to sit. Don't back up, baby. Stand tall. Sunny. Sit. Good. Give her the toy. Okay, the first time you do this, you want something high value in your pouch. I have grass-fed all beef hot dogs. Later, we won't need anything because the toy becomes the reward and the time with her, per her person. Beautiful. So satisfying for a dog. This is basically like we're inducing hunting <laughs> and letting her do all the behaviors. All right, pause right there and stay still. Now, I can tell by her body language she's getting tired. So give her a second. Let's see what she does with this toy. What we're looking for is does she want to destroy it still or not? She's used to tearing everything up. Just try and be still with this. And there's the behavior that we don't want, okay? So what I'm going to show you, if the dog will not listen, this is what I do. Watch. Yay, good girl. There it is. Pick it up. Now we're going to give the dog a rest for a couple of reasons. We rest after play so that... If the dog needs to go pee or poop, it has the chance. And so it doesn't get so highly aroused that it becomes a danger to itself or others. Always remember, do a couple of rounds, take a break. A couple of rounds, take a break. That's enough. Good girl. Really great. Really great. Good puppy. And she's choosing me over that. We're already making a difference.